Hi and welcome to the first in a series of tutorial videos which are designed to help you work with the IFM condition monitoring software VES004. Um, this first short tutorial video um, we're going to show you how to make a connection to a hardware device and the hardware device that we will use in this instance is the, the VSE002 diagnostic module. Once you've opened the, the software from your hard drive, the, the .exe file, you should see what I, we're looking at now, which is basically the, the blank template of the, the, the software. Um, to start a new project, if you up at the project here, just click on it, new, and then we can give the project a name. And if we OK that, that now puts over to the left here this um, the start of the test project. What we need to now do is tell the project which hardware device or devices will form this project. Um, we can do that a couple of ways. The the right click mouse button, which I just did there, um, has a lot of functionality within the software. So we could just right click new vibration monitor and the VSE002. Or if we want up the top here, just a left click device new and it's the VSE002. Um, the other um, devices here, VSE100, the VSE15 modules with field bus interfaces or the VNB intelligent vibration sensors. But we're going to go for VSE002 and that's now added a VSE002 to the project here. So just to give you a bit of an explanation of what we're now looking at, so in the, the, the settings, so we have the settings tab over here to the right, device settings, so if I just click on device, um, we're not connected to anything yet, but this, when we were, would give you the versions and serial numbers and MAC addresses. Um, address, the default IP address, 192.168.0.1. Um, if we wanted to change anything, this is where we would do it down the bottom here. And this icon here um, allows us to change the the IP address of the, the module that we're connected to. If we were connected to a module uh, under actions here, we'd be able to do reboot, perform a self-test, um, do teach-ins, that type of thing. Um, security, this is where we can set different password levels. So depending on the, the person that's connecting to the system, um, you can choose what functions they can or, or can't do. And test is where if we were connected, we could actually force the outputs or turn the LEDs on the front of the module on and off. Um, so if I wanted to connect to this VSE002, we now need to try and find it on the network. So um, when we have it connected here, if I just right click and if I do scan network, and what it does is bring this scan network window up. And it's actually found one, um, the one that I'm connected to, with the default IP address there. Um, if you were trying to connect to one that didn't have the default IP address that was on your network, you can go to the Search Networks tab here and actually type in the IP address or IP addresses that you're trying to find. Um, depending on the, I, the administration rights that you have, uh, you don't need to actually know the full IP address. You could just, for example, 0 .0 .0 .0. If I scan to find that, and it also finds the, the same one. So I now need to assign this uh, VSE002 to the, the project that we're creating. So an easy way is just to right click, assign. And if I now come over here and right click on VSE002 and click connect. And I now have a connection here. You can see just to the left here, there is a, a little green tick shown. So that's so that I now have a, a good connection to the device. And if I come back to device settings, it gives me information like um, the serial number, the Mac ID, um, what version of firmware, etc. we're writing. If any firmware updates would be done here as well. And the, the various information like changing IP addresses also. Um, so that's really as, as simple as it is to make a connection to the first device. Um, 
there will be a, a series of other videos following on from this about how to create parameter sets, um, how to analyse data, etc. Um, but thank you for your time watching this first video.